I'm Jill Wellington. Welcome back. I'm going to show you how to add text to photos and how to spruce up that text so it looks really pretty on your photos. Well, let's start out with this photo. I just did a lot of still lifes lately and let's add a little text to this. Now first of all, whenever you click on a tool, let's click on the T which is for text, whatever tool you're on, all of these up here are related to that tool. So right here is the fonts. So go in and select a font you want to use and then just pick the size. I have mine all the way up to 72. And now let's find a color that we'd like to use. I like to sample something that's already in my picture. So let's go ahead and grab this little eyedropper tool, click on this, and now when you move your cursor over, you'll see that it has the little eyedropper little icon. So find a color that you think would be good for, that will go right in here for a font. And I'm thinking of this orange color. So I just click on it and what it did was it sampled the color and put it over here in my little color block so I can use this. So this is going to be the color we're going to use for our text. Let's go back and click on our text tool. And now I'm just but let me first of all get another layer. Go down here to where there's this little paper, click on that, and that just added a new clear layer. Now we're going to go ahead and just click where we want to do this, this text right about here. Don't worry if you're not exact, we can move it around since we're on a different layer. But I'm just going to go ahead and write pumpkins. And because we're on a different layer, let's go up here to the move tool, click on this, and now we can resize this and move it around. Let's just put it about right there. And whenever you get it in where you want it, just go ahead and apply that. Well, that looks good. We have this nice little text saying pumpkins, but let's fancy up this text and make it look even better. What we do is go to this layer that is the text layer and right click. Now go to blending options and this dialog box will come up. And this is what you can play with over here on the style side. So go ahead and click on the different, different types. Here's bevel and emboss, look what that did. Contour, doesn't it already look neat? You can add a texture. Now get rid of these. You can try stroke. What this did was it outlined it in black. It shows up better. Try your inner shadow. Let's just go through all these. Here's an inner glow, satin look. There's color overlay. And you can go down, you can put an outer glow on it and a drop shadow. But it's that simple that you don't have to do any work that a Photoshop does it all for you. And then when you get what you like, just go ahead and click OK. But I'm not going to add any there because I'm going to show you another way that you can make it fancy. And these come right with Photoshop. Just go up to Window, click on this, and in the drop down menu, go down to Styles, click on that. And you'll get this little dialog box and look at all the neat options we have in here. And this is for fancying up our text. So let's just click on some. Aren't these cool? I always kind of look for something that's in the same color that I'm working with. That's a wild one. Go ahead and move. There's more up here. But look at these. Aren't they fancy? These are easy because they're very quick. They're already in here. Look at these. They're so fun. I like that one because that actually has the different colors that we're using. But let's say you didn't like any of these, but there are more. Go up to this little box right here, click on this, and go down, and then there's another one, Textures, Text Effects 2. Click on this, and it'll ask you if you want to change to Text Effect 2, and you do, so click on OK. Now you have more samples, more ideas. Look at these. Aren't they fun? I, I really love doing text and playing with it. I actually like that one the best, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. Doesn't that look neat? You can really fancy up your text and add some fun to your photos. Here's another idea. 
you can add this text like to a photo that you want to put on Facebook. Look at Fiona at one. I was able to use a beveled edge there. And it just really is a great idea if you're going to be sharing these online. Just fancies them up a bit. I also want to show you how to do a border very quickly. Um, first of all, we want to duplicate our layer. And we do that by, by doing Control J. And it's Command J on a Mac. And that just duplicates the layer right here. Oh, you can see it over in the Layers palette. Now we're going to go up to Image, click on this, and go to Canvas Size. Click on that. And what we want to do here is we're going to be increasing the canvas of our picture, adding extra um, width and, and depth that was not there. So we're going to go, let's just do one inch and one inch, and I'll show you what this does. Click OK, and what this did was this added a border all the way around. If you want to make this a color, grab your little eyedropper again. I'm going to go ahead and pick the pink right in that one. Take your, this is the paint bucket tool, click on that, and now right in this little border, click, and that turned pink. Doesn't that look neat? Very easy. Now you've got a nice little border. Let's say you want another border. Well, let's duplicate the layer again. Command J. Go up, same thing. We're going to go to the canvas size. And this time let's go 1.5 inches. We'll make it a little wider. 1.5. And click on OK. You've added a little bit more there. What color do we want to use? Well, I'm thinking it would be neat to do, let's just try black. So I'm going to click on this, grab black, and I'm on my paint bucket tool, click on it, and now you've got a double border. But these are really fun to post on social media and share your pictures, and hopefully you can use these fun tips to spruce up your pictures.